Okay, this is a, a very rich Moorish lamb stew and these are the ingredients and after you've seen this I'll let you know the exact amount you need. Garlic, onion, beef stock, dried fruits, that's prunes, apricots, you can have some cranberry and some other dry fruits, carrots, leek, tomato puree, cranberry sauce, mushrooms. I'm using two different types of mushrooms, but you can just use one if you want. You need some flour and of course you need your lamb, you need three pounds of lamb and the best of all before you drink it out you need a very good wine, not a cheap wine this is a really very rich meal really nice wine red port, not white, it's going to be red port because you're using a red wine and then I shall show you the amount of ingredients you need after Okay, I'm going to take all the fat off the lamb because this is a Moorish lamb stew and I don't want it to be too greasy. So this is what we have to do. Just take very carefully with a sharp knife. Just get every inch of fat you can, as much fat as you can. It doesn't matter if there's a tiny little bit left, but try and get as much out as you can. And when we've get, we have all the fat, if you can string it on a string or put it in a mesh bag, hang it in a tree and this will be ideal for the birds to have for their winter food Okay, I've managed to get as much fat out as I can. Now I'm going to cut it. You need, you need to have it in chunks, like about that size. I think that's about a three-inch chunk size. Not too small because it'll get too um, mushy, but it's going to be chunk size. And as you cut it, when you see the tiny little bits of fat, just take it off like that, and that size chunk. Okay, I'm using a leg of lamb. You need three pounds in chunk size. Um, I'll cut that a bit because I see that's okay, that's fine. There's a bit of fat there, I'll take it off. See, that's it, there's a little bit there. I'll just take that bit off. It doesn't matter if a tiny bit of meat comes off with it because that's all for the birds. That's okay, let's do a bit more. That bit I'll cut in two and then cut it again. Right, you got the idea. Nothing too small as so it goes sloshy. Right, there we go. There's a bit of fat there. I'll just take a bit of fat off there. And then I'll show you the next stage in a few minutes time. Okay, stage one. Put some flour in a large uh, baking pan or a large bowl. The larger the bowl, the better because you've got more room to mix the flour and pepper. And get some white ground pepper or black and put it in. It's like about I don't know, a tape, two teaspoons should be enough. And then you take the lamb, just give that a mix. Take the lamb, add the lamb into the flour and pepper. Coat it, coat the flour with the lamb. Coat it all. Keep mixing it up so it's coated. Make sure it's well coated all over. Right. So it should look. It should look like that. Okay? Should look like that. And then I'll get to you, show you the next stage once this is done. This will take me just a little while to do. 
Okay, this is what it should look when it's, um, it's all coated with the flour and the little pepper, black pepper. It's all done. And I put a tiny bit of oil in my wok, just a tiny bit, just to stop it sticking, that's all. And all I have to do is to just seal that now, put that in and seal it. And once it's sealed, I'll show you the next stage. So we'll get this sealed. And this will take a little while. If you've got two woks, you can actually do do it in two rings, and that would be quicker. But I've only got one, so I'll just have to do it a few times to get it done. Okay, and I'll come back to you in the next stage. Okay, this is the lamb that we sealed. Um, See, this is it. It's all done. You can you can get it a bit browner if you want one, but it's not um, it's not important. And this is a three pounds of lamb. Now we shall go to the next stage. Okay, I've got one pound of mushrooms. You can use a mixture of different type of mushrooms, which would be very nice as a pound. I've got eight carrots in there, chopped up. That's the size. One onion and eight cloves of garlic chopped, half of a leek, chopped, two tablespoons of tomato puree, two tablespoons of cranberry jelly, one pint of beef stock, that's one pint of beef stock, we've got one bottle of wine, whoa, 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 don't want to get on the floor, and a bottle of port. Please get a very good wine and port, not the cheap one. Right, the next stage is you add the mushrooms. Mushrooms. Carrots. Leeks, onions, you can do this in two separate pots if you like, but because I've done it before, I know this would be okay. Garlic, right. And you stir this in very, very carefully. Just stir it in very carefully. Just mix it in. It's very, very gently. But if you've got two pots, it would be better because then you can do it easier. Right, there you go, that's it. That's going in. You don't need to cook it. Just stir it in. Just to mix it all in. Okay, set the oven to 200, that's 200 there, okay, and that's in 200. The next stage is we have to get all of this into the, into baking tray. You could use two baking trays if you like, if it's too much. So if you're beginning there, just take your time, don't rush this, because it's quite a lot of ingredients. You don't want to rush it. Get it all in there, there we go. The last bit out. That's in there, that's in there. Okay. Now we add the stock, the beef stock. Pour the beef stock in. Try and get it all the way over there. That's the beef stock. And then you put add the cranberry jelly. Add the tomato puree in there, like so. 
you get that little stir in there. Right? Don't forget, take your time, don't rush this, because you really need to get it all coated. Get it over like that. You don't have to mix it all perfectly because as, as it's cooking, so you just give the stir if you know it again. And that's it all. Now we put the wine and the port in. Okay, we pour a, a bottle of wine like that. And don't forget, you can always have one glass just to be on the old, um, tasting side. And that's a very un. Get the port in. One bottle of port, one bottle of wine. Oh. If you can't get all then you can always add it in a bit after. But that should fit in there. There you go. Now we put that into the oven for two and a half to three hours. And check it every now and again. Okay, there you go. Very carefully. Into the oven. That's two and a half to three hours on 200 degrees centigrade. Okay, this is one hour cooking time. Now, be very, very careful because it's very hot. Take it out and just give it a stir. This is exactly one hour cooking time. Give it a stir. Can you see how thick and rich the sauce is getting? This is absolutely just give it a little stir, like that. Check your carrots, make sure it's check your carrot to make sure it's cooked. Let's just pierce a bit of carrot to see if it's cooked. No. But this is gonna go in for another hour in there. See that's absolutely delicious. Stir it, stir it. That's just stir it over, that's it. And this is exactly one hour cooking on number 200. So what we'll do now, we pop it back into the oven. Back into the oven. Into the oven again. And now we have to turn the temperature down. Right. We turn it down to 140 for one hour more. 140 for one hour. It's time to take it out of the oven. It's been in for two and a half hours. Now we shall give it a stir. And this is perfect. See? This the sauce is nice and thick. And everything is cooked. That is absolutely cooked. It's very soft. See that soft? The carrots is cooked. And just give it a stir. Stir it over. And that is a perfect Moorish rich lamb stew. You can have this with rice. You can have it with some lovely cream potatoes some broccoli or some green beans and get a nice loaf of bread and tear the bread and eat it and this is my Moorish lamb stew and I hope you enjoy it.